Welcome to the shop, Steve here at SKS Props. Today I'm going to show you how to make some foam fabricated wings for your next costume or cosplay. Have you ever had a cosplay or costume that required some kind of a simple wing setup, but you weren't really sure how to do that? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you the basic steps that it takes to put together these fairy wings for my daughter. Now, with wings like this, they need to be lightweight, but still pretty sturdy. So these, of course, are made out of my HD foam, which you guys can find over at Blick Art Materials in select stores and online. Now, the steps that I'm going to show you are very simplistic. Feel free to elaborate on them and make the wings even grander. Let's go ahead and jump into the build. The first thing I did to create the wings was to draw up a template freehand on some Bristol board. That was then cut out and transferred onto some 10mm HD foam. In hindsight, these wings are a little too big, so I scaled them down for the digital templates. If you want to scale them back up, feel free to do that in your PDF program. These wings have a lot of organic curves, so make sure to sharpen your utility knife before you start cutting it out. When cutting, I would recommend to press your blade all the way through the foam into the cutting surface and keep the blade as straight as possible. To create the raised section on these wings, I first cut my template into a couple smaller pieces. These are then traced onto the 10mm HD foam wings as a guide. Once that is complete, the templates are then traced onto some 6mm HD foam. These also have lots of curves to them, but because the material is thinner, I switched to a smaller utility knife. The smaller blade helps me cut more complex shapes. Using the lines I had drawn on earlier, I test fit the raised sections to see how they're going to look on the wing. Once I'm satisfied they look exactly how I want, contact cement is applied to both sides. Because this detail does get pretty thin at the top, super glue is also used in the adhesion process. Remember to keep the contact cement thin and use a lot of pressure to press the pieces together. I use the same steps to attach the longer detailed piece, once again using the double adhesive method of contact cement and super glue. To give these wings the support they need, we're going to be using a metal hanger. It should be perfect for this project. I start by removing the cardboard tube and bending the wire straight down. The metal wire is inserted into the wing and additional contact cement and super glue are applied to the foam. Once the adhesives have cured, the hook part of the hanger is folded back. This will rest in between the shoulder blades. A medium grit sanding drum on my Dremel rotary tool is used to even out the different layers. After the wings have been leveled out, I slightly bevel the pieces to give them character. To get rid of all the burrs and clean up the edges, I use a sanding drum that is almost completely smooth. This will cauterize the foam and help to round over all the edges. I use a couple different Forstner bits to drill holes into the wings for additional details. I take my template and punch through it with a pencil to transfer the guidelines for the veining of the wings. The veins will be fabricated using strips of 2mm HD foam. These are easily applied by putting down a line of super glue and then bending the foam to match the curve. The excess foam is trimmed off and the remaining piece is glued down. After heat sealing the foam, two thin layers of Plasti Dip are applied. Now remember when heating foam or applying Plasti Dip to always wear your respirator. After the Plasti Dip had cured, a layer of Carlon Gray Primer was sprayed onto the wings. My first layer of acrylic paint will be Utrecht brand Brilliant Blue. This is applied heavily with a mop brush and a lot of water. After the paint had been brushed on, I go in with a wet paper towel to remove some of the excess and then use a hair dryer to speed up the drying process. I want the wings to have a very soft colored transition, so I'm using a dual action Iwata airbrush with some Createx transparent purple. Now this paint comes out a little thick, so I do use the Createx reducer to help the paint flow a little better. I start off pretty light, just hitting the shadowed areas and the veining. This helps set a tone for how much paint I add throughout this piece. Once I feel the purple paint is dark enough, I go in with an iridescent red. This isn't really going to cover as much as just give it an additional hue. These subtle color shifts are what really helps make the piece more visually appealing. For my next technique, I break out an old toothbrush. I'm going to do a controlled splatter finish. This is a technique that I did a lot in my illustration classes. 
Basically, you load the paintbrush with a lot of really watered down pigment and you flick it onto the piece. Don't worry about overspraying it because you can always go in with a wet paper towel and wipe off the excess. Once I'm satisfied with where all the splatters are at, I go ahead and lock that in with a hairdryer. I would like the tips of these wings to have a little more shimmer to them, so I'm going to go in with some Krylon Premium Metallic Sterling Silver as a top coat. I don't want this paint all over, so I'm just kind of dusting the back one third of the wings on the front and back. To make the veins on the wings stand out a little bit more, I go in with some Liquitex Heavy Body Iridescent Rich Silver. This is applied with a filbert brush, but then a lot of it is wiped away just to give it a glaze. White elastic banding is wrapped around the hook section of this hanger. This is what's going to allow someone to wear these wings on their back. The elastic will wrap around the top of the hook, creating two loops that the wearer's arms will go through. Once the diameter of the loop is figured out, safety pins are used on the elastic, that way this can be adjusted for different wearers later on. The elastic bands are once again threaded onto the hook and pliers are used to close the gap. To make the middle of this brace a little more comfortable and to fit flush on the back, a small piece of 10mm HD foam is cut out and glued to the hook. Some very thin black cloth is used as a shawl for the costume, but also covers the braces and the wires. So you guys can see the basic steps that it takes to put together some simple wings for your costume or cosplay. Now if you guys are enjoying these videos, be sure to give them a thumbs up and share them with your friends and family. And be sure to tag Blick and SKS Props on Twitter and Instagram because we love seeing your progress. Until next time, thanks for stopping by.